You said something that caught me right away when we were discussing uh, various issues just before we started. We got uh, the XAI data center uh, or supercomputer center uh, training um, from uh, beginning installation to start of training in 19 days, which is the fastest that anyone has ever uh, gotten a supercomputer uh, to train. Um, and is that in that new building off to the side? That's in Memphis, actually. It's was, in Memphis? Yeah. Oh, so, so that's where you were? Yeah. I see. Memphis, okay. the capital of ancient Egypt. Right, right, uh, right, 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 <laughs> right. Yeah, 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 you're bringing what? Perhaps that's where our new God will come from. Yeah, no kidding. Perhaps that's where our new God will come from. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah, I wish that was funny. <laughs> Memphis, okay. the capital of ancient Egypt. Yeah, yeah you're bringing what? Perhaps that's where our new God will come from. Yeah, okay, so I want to talk to you about a line that... <laughs> I wish that was funny. <laughs> I wish that was funny. Yeah, yeah I right. Mean, well, look, um, I mean, there, there are a few things we're aiming for with, with Brock, the XAI. Yeah, so why'd you pick, <laughs> why'd you pick Brock? Well, I think, well, because of the meaning of the word. Yeah. Um, to Grok something is to understand it at a very deep level, and that's what we're aiming for with our AI. The, the stated goal of um, XAI is to understand the universe, so to really just understand the nature of the universe, what, like, what, uh, and even what questions to ask about the universe. Yeah, who did you say? Oh, let me tell you, we have a new star. A star is born, Elon. Now he is. You know, he sent the rocket up two weeks ago, and it came down and down, and you saw all that fire burning, and, and I'm saying, only Elon can do this. It must be an Elon. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon, and he exerciseth all the power of the first beast before him, and causeth the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. And he doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men, and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast. And it came down and down, and you saw that fire burning, and, and I'm saying only Elon could do this. It must be an Elon. Hey YouTube world, Harvest is Plenty. Thanks for stopping by to check out the video. Please don't forget to hit or smash that thumbs up or like button for me. So guys, 2025, we have a lot coming our way. A lot of propaganda, a lot of deception. Don't forget the smith Mund Act that was repealed. That's always been in effect. The Great Reset is still on the table as well. There's no accident that 2025, the year or the age of Aquarius, begins. There's no accident that 2025, the externalization of the hierarchy is set to begin. That's no accident that 2025, the Vatican and the Pope declared it to be a year of Jubilee. It's right on the screen in front of you. It said the 2025 Jubilee year offers Catholics worldwide a sacred time for spiritual renewal and, recon and reconciliation, building upon or building on centuries of tradition while addressing the unique challenges of our post-pandemic world. It's no accident that um, the United Nations is set to have various celebrations throughout the year as well. None of this stuff is accident. There's no accident that Donald Trump said that once he takes office next year in 2025, it's going to be the start of the golden age. Guys, none of this is by accident. All of this has been planned. I mean, according to Elon, we probably see the return of the gods of Egypt. And we do know that the gods of Egypt were the fallen angels in a demonic hierarchy. As he said that Jordan Peterson was very uncomfortable. You know, Elon Musk was standing there with his um, Superman suit on with the inverted cross in the back and the Baphomet uh, picture in the front. You know, he was happily and joyously flashing the 666 hand signs. I warned you guys about Elon. I've talked about the externalization of the hierarchy a number of times. I've mentioned Lavosky, Alice Bailey, Annie Besant, Ruth Montgomery, all the people, the champions of theosophy in the new age. I have the books. I read them. I have all of that stuff. And um, in those books, they say a lot of weird and strange things. 
I always wanted to read those books to you guys online. Um, just never had the time to sit down and do it. But I will start reading some of the chapters for you. Just know that a lot is coming down the pike, guys. Um, stay prayerful. Seek out Jesus Christ, his salvation, and his protection and his guidance. You know, ask for peace. Keep love in your heart. Ask that you and your family and all your loved ones and everything that you care about be covered in his blood. And that he watch over you day and night. I will pray for you guys, all of my subscribers, all of my watchers who uh, check out the video. You guys pray for me and mine as well. I love you guys. I'm going to leave you with some video for externalization of the hierarchy. And until my next video, may the good Lord continue to bless you and your family. Let me quote the occult world directly. Now, Alice A. Bailey, 2025 hierarchy will manifest itself. Now, this is interesting. Now, Alice A. Bailey is basically the prophetess for the United Nations. Yes. She is the one that followed Blavatsky. Yes. Now, when I was still involved in all of these things, I was pertinently told by one of the highest channels in the world that if you are a student of Blavatsky, then you have arrived. Yes. Now, this is a personal experience. And uh, Alice A. Bailey, of course, Temple of Understanding and all of these things in the United Nations, they, they are schooled. The whole education system is schooled on Alice A. Bailey. Let's have a look at this quote. It comes from a book, The Externalization of the Hierarchy. But we must explain who the hierarchy is. Mm -hmm. The hierarchy are those spiritual master Masters. entities that run the world from behind the scenes. This is a reality in the thinking of the United Nations, right? Correct. Otherwise, they wouldn't have it as an official organization affiliated to the United Nations. Yes. And uh, this hierarchy, if you know your Bible, is of course a demonic mm -hmm. hierarchy. These are demons communicating with humanity. Yes. This is what it is. Now, we can look at the publisher. It was written in 1957 and it's Lucis Trust, mm -hmm. which originally was Lucifer, Lucifer. Publishing Company. But the name was too much in the face, so they changed it to Lucis Trust. Same thing. She writes, Thus a great and new movement is proceeding, and a tremendously increased interplay and interaction is taking place. Interaction with whom? Yes. This will go on until... Oh. That's stunning! <laughs> A.D. 2025. During the years intervening between now and then, very great changes will be seen taking place. When was this written? written? 1957. 1957. This is interesting. Very great changes will be seen taking place. And at the great general assembly of the hierarchy. What's she talking about here? A meeting of the demonic forces. A meeting of the demonic forces. Held as usual every century. In 2025, the date in all probability will be set for the first stage of the externalization of the hierarchy. What does that mean? Don't Where they will present themselves to humanity so that you can see them face to face. Does that sound like Satan masquerading as an angel of light saying, I am the Christ, I have come back? Yes, I've changed the laws. Didn't we deal with that in the spirit of prophecy? That he will say, I have changed the laws. So must there have been an attempt to keep Sunday by that stage? Yes. Is he reinforcing it? Yes. Were there calamities that led people to believe these things? We're just putting it into a biblical scenario. Mm -hmm. Which countries would be hardest hit? Those Protestant. that had? The light Protestant countries. And rejected it. Mm -hmm. 
National apostasy will be followed by? National ruin. Interesting. 2025. The date in all probability will be set for the first stage of the externalization of the hierarchy. The present cycle from now until that date. Is she making that date prominent? Yes. What was the date in Deagle? 2025. What was the date in that movie clip? 2025. Uh, who runs Hollywood? <laughs> Jesuits. Jesuit theater. Fascinating. The present cycle from now until that date is called technically the stage of the forerunner. Mm -hmm. Forerunner to whom? Satan. Satan. It is preparatory in nature, testing in its methods. Are we being tested right now as to how far we can be pushed? Yes, how far they can put the control on us. And intended to be revelatory in its techniques and results. You can see, therefore, that Chohans, masters, initiates, world disciples, disciples and aspirants affiliated with the hierarchy. Excuse me. According to the statement from Alice A. Bailey, an official part of the ruling powers of this world are the people in the world involved in this issue and people in the governments talking to these entities? Yes. So there's communication between the demonic world. Uh, could these demons be saying there's coming an intervention, we must prepare for it. Get your space wars ready. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're really talking conspiracies oh, now, yeah. right? So I hope that all the sensitive people have tuned out <laughs> At this Put on the tin for lads. Yes. You can therefore see the Chohans, the masters, the initiates. So where would you find initiates? In secret societies. Aha. Uh -huh. hmm. What do they call a person who leads, let's say, a Masonic Lodge? A master. A grand master. A grand master, even a worshipful master. Not just the word worshipful master. Jesus says, call no one master. master. And you shall worship the Lord thy God and him alone. And here this man is called worshipful, worshipful. master. Shouldn't that ring a bell in every mind out there that is associated with secret, secret societies? societies? Shouldn't they run for their lives? Shouldn't they flee from them knowing that this is a demonic organization if they even dare to use terminology like that? Yep. But they don't see it. Initiates, world disciples, disciples and aspirants affiliated with the hierarchy. Affiliated. That means... Joined together yes. with demonic forces. Sitting at one table are all at this time passing through a cycle of great activity. She continues, Today human beings as a whole are so loudly invocative that the entire trend of the life of the hierarchy and its plans to date have been subjected to change. I'm glad God interferes every now and then. Yes. To postponement as far as certain interior and purely hierarchical determinations are concerned, and to a hastening of certain plans which were slated, if I may use such a word, to take place several centuries later than this, but which, owing to the unexpected preparedness of humanity, can take place not prematurely really, but securely in the fullness of time. <laughs> this is amazing. Of course, this is eyewash. Yeah. Satan knows the time frame exactly. But he's talking to his people as though, you know, this is going to go on forever. But mm. because you are so beautifully brilliant, I, I've listened to many of these communications and the way he speaks. And uh, in the New Age movement, the Maitreya, my dear ones, my super intelligent ones, my this, my that, it's 
incredibly irritating. Well, the terminology of fullness of time is also... That I was just going to comment on. I'm glad you noticed that too, the fullness of time. He knows the time frame. Mm -hmm. uh, we've talked about time frames and we certainly haven't made them long time frames. No. And 2025 is well within those time frames. Now we're not saying 2025, this is a demon saying 2025. Correct. So the fullness of time as regards the particular planning with which we are dealing is from now until the year 2025. That's pretty definitive. Yeah. A brief period of time indeed in which to see the consummation of the larger purpose of the planetary Logos. That's the word. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is Satan taking the place it's of Jesus Christ. Yes, it's terrible. Unbelievable. Working through the three major centers within his body of manifestation. That's his disciples. Mm. That's the governments of the world. Now there are Rumors in uh, the realms of, let's say, the king of mana, mana, the king of mana, who rules all the nations and has this pot of gold that he sits on to finance the nations, that every single leader, so they say in these pages, that every single leader somehow has to sign a contract with, with this Logos. That's very interesting. We're deep into conspiracy theories now. <laughs> but we're not actually in conspiracy theories because we're quoting directly yes. from the sources. Yes. And if someone doesn't want to believe these sources, that's their prerogative. Yeah. But the United Nations runs its schedule according, according to, to it. This. And the year 2025 is becoming ubiquitous. We're reading it here, we're reading it there. So, this purpose was threefold in nature. I've made this practical application and this immediate illustration of teaching anent glamour, illusion and maya because the whole world problem has reached a crisis today and because its clarification will be the outstanding theme of all progress. Now listen to this. Yep. Educational. Will we be re-educated? One of the great signs before the end is that Satan must impersonate Christ before the coming of the Lord. Matthew 24 verse 5, For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And 2 Corinthians 11 14, And no marvel, marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. A power working from beneath is working to bring about the last great scenes and the drama. Satan coming as Christ and working with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in those who are binding themselves together in secret societies. When I read this and I hear all these people talk about conspiracy theories, conspiracy theories, we're not dealing with conspiracy theories, we are dealing with prophetic fulfillment. As the crowning act in the great drama of deception, Satan himself will personate Christ. The church has long professed to look to the Savior's advent at the consumption of our hopes. Now the great deceiver will make it appear that Christ has come. In different parts of the earth, Satan will manifest himself amongst men as a majestic being of dazzling brightness resembling the description of the Son of God given by John in the Revelation. This is a future 